context discontinuity. That's what I call the situation that occurs when you encounter somebody you know in one situation in a completely different. For example, you meet somebody that you know from work in the supermarket or on the beach or in a club and you don't know who they are. That happened to me tonight. I uh, went to an event, um, a fundraiser um, called uh, the Arms of Angels for a uh, group uh, run by a friend of mine that uh, does uh, uh, counseling for uh, people who have lost loved ones, particularly children. And uh, when I walked in, this uh, woman runs up to me and uh, gives me a big hug and tells me how glad she is to see me. And I'm used to people I don't know recognizing me. And that happened to me a lot tonight. But she was pretty effusive. And I was like, okay, I couldn't figure out where I knew her from. And she whispered in her ear that uh, she checks me in at the clinic. So I guess she's either a nurse or a clerk at the Natividad Medical Center. And it just turns out I have an appointment at that clinic on Monday, so I will see her on Monday. Tonight was one of those nights where I had uh, two particular places I could be. Each one was uh, equally uh, potentially important, significant, but totally different. The one I went to, was, of course, was the fundraiser. The other one, which was in San Jose, was a district meeting of the Democratic Party, of the California Democratic Party. And I think it was District 7 is what I'm in. And that would have been significant because uh, a lot of people are knowing me, and I wouldn't say I'm getting to be an important figure in the Democratic Party, but I am getting to be a recognized figure. But I don't think my not being there is going to be that big a setback. Um, it would have been interesting probably and would have been significant because see and be seen would have been important. But I'll do that next time. This was important because I ran into people I hadn't seen in a while. Renewed acquaintances of people I haven't seen in months or some cases even a couple of years. Ran into one guy I haven't seen in 15 years back from the days when I was videotaping the uh, Monterey Rock and Art show and uh, told him I still have all those tapes and he said hey you ought to put them together into some TV shows so I might just do that it's something I've been planning on through a program locally called AMP Access Monterey Peninsula and um, so right now I'm sitting in the parking lot of Safeway in Monterey and I'm going to go do some shopping. That's all.